So probably a lot of you guys have already modded your NES Classic to play every single NES game in the NES library. Now I'm going to show you guys how to play other games from other systems like Genesis, Super Nintendo, and Game Boy. It is very simple to do. The first thing you want to do is go to this link right here. It will be down below. Once you go there, you're going to download this file. It is drive.google.com and all this. Click on it. Once you open it up, you're going to install RetroArch. And with this file, you're going to have two folders in it, games and mods. Come right over here and click on downloads. Now I have already downloaded it. It is right here. It is in a zip folder and it's right next to my HackChi folder. Now, before you go any farther, you have to already have your NES Classic downloaded or modded with HackChi. If you do not know how to do that, there will be a link down below of my tutorial on how to do that. So before you go any farther, make sure you do that. Once that is all done, you're going to open the zip file for the retro arch. You're going to grab these two folders, the games and mods, and drag them into your hack G. Once this prompt comes up, you're going to hit the replace the file. It only takes a couple seconds. So once that's done, I'm going to open up the hack G folder and I'm going to go into the games folder. And then I'm going to go into that first file, the R arch folder. Then I'm going to lib retro. And then I'm going to go into ROMs. And this is where you're going to place your ROMs for other systems. Now, before you place them, you have to know that Super Nintendo Genesis ROMs, they can be extremely huge. So you're not going to be able to fit a full Super NES library on here. Um, I would go slow and uh, try a few games out at a time and don't overload it because it won't be able to fit everything. So I have a few ROMs that I'm going to install. Super Mario Kart, Super Mario Land for the Game Boy, and Altered Beast for the Genesis. Once those are done, you're going to back out and you're going to double click the application. Now if you've modded your NES Classic, you'll recognize this screen. Um, I reset my NES Classic. I installed Hackchi and I just put one game on there. I will take that one off and I'm going to click on RetroArch and I want to install that. The next thing I'm going to do, which I didn't show in my last video, I'm going to go up into settings and I'm going to go to maximum games per page. I'm going to set this to 35 just so everything fits. If it's on 30, when you start your NES Classic, you're going to have a few games on the front screen and then a folder with the rest of the games and the hack G. So I would put 35 games and then you're going to synchronize selected games. At this point, you're going to do exactly the same thing you've done when you modded your NES Classic the first time with hack G. Make sure you follow the instructions. You're going to Make sure the power button on the NES Mini is switched off. Now, I don't really reconnect the NES cord. It's already plugged in right now. I'm going to hold the reset button, turn the power switch on, and then after a few seconds, I'm going to let go of the reset button. At this point, it's going to start uploading the kernel, going through a few prompts, and after a few selections, we're going to be able to play Genesis, Super Nintendo, and Game Boy games. And now that's done. You're going to wait for the LED light on the NES Classic to go out. I'm just going to hit OK. And that is it. So after you modded your NES Classic, plug it back into the TV. And you're going to come up with this icon right here, the Retro Arch icon. Hit the A button. And you're going to come up with this screen. Once you get here, you're going to load the core. You're going to scroll down to core and here is where you can play different systems. So you can play your Game Boy, your Genesis, Super Nintendo. I will go into Super Nintendo and here you want to scroll down to load content and you want to start directory. 
as you can see right there is my Super Mario Kart game. We're going to load it onto that emulator. And there it is. Super Mario Kart. Let's see if I can start a game really quick. Show you how it looks. I'm playing one-handed here, so it's a little difficult. But it plays just like a Super NES game on the regular system. And I'm playing one-handed, but it looks pretty good. Let's go into the Game Boy. Load Core. Go down to Core. And Game Boy. We're going to load content, start directory, and Super Mario Land. And now you can play Game Boy on your NES Classic. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, please uh, give it a like. And I'll see you guys around.